This short movie aims to introduce an iPad app known as iPfad. Fad means path in German. Here is iPfad's homepage where new participant records are entered and where the experiment recording phase is initialized. The grey box is for notes and may be filled in pre or post experiment. It is possible to record with an accompanying audio track. The navigation buttons at the bottom switch between the home page screen and the map page screen. The map page screen is divided into two sections, the upper map section and the lower events section. The buttons are classified as changes in floor level, as path events such as pausing, the use of external aids such as reading signs and other log action events such as saving a compass direction in a pausing task. Every time an event is logged, a coloured dot on the traced path is created. It is time stamped and its location is noted in the log file. The text based log files, annotated maps and any associated audio files are saved for subsequent retrieval. Here we can see an experimenter using the iPad app. The iPad is particularly well suited to this task as it is lightweight and can be held in one hand. The tracing of a participant's path is both intuitive and non-intrusive. As mentioned previously, the map section displays the current floor level if it's a multi-level building and is a drawable part of the screen, allowing the experimenter to trace the path of a subject onto the screen as they observe the participant's progress through an environment. For GPS-enabled iPads used in outdoor environments with good GPS coverage, this path may be created automatically. However, since this is not applicable to most interior settings, the hand-drawn trace option is available. The types of path event tasks that are programmed into the app are starting a new task, pausing, backtracking, arriving at a false destination, and becoming lost or giving up the task. The use of external aids for which buttons are provided consist of the use of signage, of maps, external views to the outside, or equivalent invariant views, and asking for help. Finally, there are buttons provided to save a compass direction with a pointing task which uses the internal compass provided with the iPad and to note the location of a significant remark if simultaneously recording an audio transcript.